There's a new MG5 coming to the UK, but it's probably not the model you were expecting. A few months ago, alongside the MG Marvel R announcement, I brought you the news of a new electric MG5 that MG had announced for the European market, promising a longer range, more stylish looks, an upgraded load rating for the roof, the ability to tow, and an improved interior. Some of you were more excited about that than the flagship Marvel that had been announced. And were very keen to know if it was actually going to make it to the UK. And MG are just about to announce, and this is, this is some uh, leaked information ahead of time that we have here. MG are just about to announce a new MG5 for the UK market. They're dubbing it the MG5 Long Range for now. Well, let's get the bad news out of the way though. It will be aesthetically identical to the current UK MG5 that is currently available. It's not the same car as the European one that had been announced. What it does offer though is a bigger battery, 61 kilowatt hour nominal capacity with 57.7 usable. That's a 250 mile range for the combined cycle, up from 214 for the current MG5 that's currently available. It's not a huge increase in range, but it could just swing it for you, especially if you're a fleet or commercial user who covers higher mileage and all out range is, is the most important factor to you. Battery and range aside though, and let's face it, it gets boring if that's all we talk about when we talk about new EVs. The other additions to the long range model are arguably more important. It gets the full MG pilot treatment. That's the suite of safety equipment, including adaptive cruise control. And for me, that's one of the, the, the main features that the ZS EV has that the current MG5 doesn't, that would kind of sway me one way or the other, and it would probably put me off changing my ZS EV for a five is the lack of the adaptive cruise. Because for me, for long, boring motorway journeys, I find that very, very useful. I can't speak for everyone, of course, and I'm sure some would say, oh, well, we lived, lived without it for long enough. But for me, it just makes those long, monotonous journeys just that little bit better and, a, you know, a little bit less tiresome. So seeing it come to the MG5 is great news. Of course, along with that, you get all the safety systems like lane keep assist, active emergency braking, intelligent high beam assist, intelligent speed limit assist, many more. And these systems, I think, will stand the MG5 long range in good stead for end cap testing. Because these days, it's actually quite hard to score a decent score on the end, end cap test. It's not just about crash testing. Active safety systems make a big difference to the result. So I think the current model MG5 wouldn't score that well, whereas if you add all these safety systems on, it would definitely bump up the scoring. The roof rack aficionados will be happy as well. You'll be pleased to hear that the exclusive model will come with roof rails with a 75 kilogram load rating, the same as the ZS EV. So it's no more will you be restricted by the, the low and somewhat controversial 35 kilogram load rating of the original MG5. So really good news for those that are obsessed with putting stuff on the roof. Now the current model MG5 is going to be sold alongside this long range model, but only until the stock runs out. This model will become the only MG5 available once the old stock is gone. It could mean there'll be some really good deals coming up as they phase out the current model. So if you're willing to forgo some of the enhancements, you might be able to get a good deal because I imagine they'll struggle to shift them otherwise. I'm not sure that you would order the current model with this new one on the horizon. It's said that the RRP is going to rise by £1,400, which seems like a small price to pay for me for the increased range and the other features. What do you think? Nobody pays RRP for an MG anyway, right? So I suspect the effect on the actual price you're going to pay will be even less. So let me know in the comments what you think. Would you um, go for the cheaper model? Like when they're both available side by side, will you go for the cheaper model or would you happily pay the extra? I think I'm definitely inclined to say that it'll be worth a little bit extra. So orders are going to be taken from August. And the first deliveries are expected to be in September 2021, so not long to go. Well then, that is a bit of a surprise, isn't it? I didn't expect the replacement MG5 to come so soon. And I'm even more surprised 
that they've actually just enhancing the existing models. It's the same car, just with a slightly bigger battery and some different software and, and you know, a couple of add-ons. It's not a, a, even actually a facelift. It's a bit odd. It's bad, bad news for those of you that were preferring the, the looks of the upcoming European model, of course. But the new specification does sound pretty great, doesn't it? I think it's a, bit, a little bit of a kick in the teeth for anybody that's just taken delivery of the current model MG5. So maybe you've got one on order. It hasn't been on the market for very long at all, has it? It'd be interesting to see what that might do to residual values. I am very interested, though. I think the addition of the MG Pilot stuff and the, the slightly bigger battery maybe just swing me to be tempted to chop in my ZS EV for one of those. It certainly ticks a lot more of the boxes than the current model does. I'd be very interested to hear your opinion. Will you now wait for the new MG5 long range to launch and become available? Are you going to hold off on ordering? Are you, would you chop in your existing MG5 for one or your ZS EV? Or are you now going to wait for the fire sale when they try to get rid of the old models? Because that could be some interesting times, couldn't it? There'll be more news on this as I've got it. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.